A hero, it has been said, is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself. Certainly, we have borne witness to heroic acts by first responders, medical professionals, and a near record number of National Guard men and women fighting this invisible COVID-19 enemy. It's perhaps fitting that Memorial Day is here to remind us once again of the sacrifices Americans are willing to make to protect others. Recognizing those who gave the last full measure of devotion is the reason Abraham Lincoln set aside one day each year, Memorial Day, to remember the more than 1.3 million men and women who fought and died in places like Gettysburg, Iwo Jima, Quezon, Fallujah, and Kandahar. While this virus may require us to distance ourselves from traditional Memorial Day gatherings, it cannot diminish the example left behind by countless men and women who have died on the battlefield. They gave up their today so we could have our tomorrow. Their legacies have also formed the backbone of the National Guard force of citizen soldiers and airmen, many of whom are your neighbors equally adept at fighting an enemy overseas or a pandemic at home. Since 9-11, Guard members have deployed more than one million times to places like Iraq, Afghanistan, Kuwait, the Balkans, Guantanamo Bay, and other locations. Despite knowing the dangers and being required to leave their families, friends, and jobs, the vast majority of our soldiers and airmen in today's National Guard have either enlisted or re-enlisted since 9-11. These are the kind of men and women who swell our ranks. Our forefathers would recognize the Minutemen who volunteered to defend their communities. They volunteer to protect what we hold dear. We are the home of the free because of the brave. The National Guard has changed significantly since its militia days. It's now made up of highly trained and capable soldiers and airmen committed to fighting America's wars, protecting our homeland, and building partnerships. Today, there are 85,000 National Guard men and women standing their post. Nearly 30,000 are serving overseas, many in harm's way, protecting our way of life. Another 47,000 are on the front lines of this pandemic, ensuring their neighbors are getting much needed food and medical supplies, bringing the calm after the storm. This Memorial Day, let's reflect upon the example and legacy left to us by all the brave men and women of our nation's armed forces. As we express our gratitude, we must remember the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Whether you have served or are serving in our armed forces or are on the front lines of this pandemic crisis, we are all honoring the example left to us by our fallen warriors by pledging to never forget their sacrifice and to live each day embracing their selflessness and courage, we return the favor.